and deeply troubled by the aerial bombardment of civilians by government forces, by the increasing sectarian tensions, and by the deteriorating human humanitarian situation, and by the apparent choice of both sides to pursue a solution uh, through force rather than dialogue. I encourage this council to maintain its vigilance on Syria, including on the question of accountability. We must ensure that anyone on any side who commits war crimes, crimes against humanity, or other violations of international human rights or humanitarian law is brought to justice. I also remain concerned about the unfulfilled human rights of the Palestinian people, in particular, the right to self-determination. A sustainable solution to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict requires a negotiated agreement that ends the 1967 occupation and results in an independent, sovereign, democratic, and viable Palestinian state living side by side in peace and security with Israel and its other neighbors. I'm gravely concerned by the ongoing conflict in Syria, which continues to have devastating consequences on civilians. The use of heavy weapons by the government and the shelling of populated areas have resulted in high numbers of civilian casualties, mass displacement of civilians inside and outside the country, and a devastating humanitarian crisis. I am concerned that they may amount to war crimes and crimes against humanity. I am equally concerned about violations by anti-government forces, including murder, extrajudicial execution, and torture, as well as the recently increased use of improvised explosive devices.